Hi friends, my name is Claire, and today we're going to learn basic subtraction. Let's start off easy by learning how to solve 2 minus 1. Let's say you have two apples. Then I take one apple away from you. Now, how many apples do you have left in the box? Since there is only one left, the answer is 1. Now, let's solve 3 minus 2. Let's say you have 3 apples. Now, if we remove 2 of those apples, how many do you have left? There is one apple left, so the answer to this problem is also one. Now let's try to solve the same problem using a number line. You can draw it out with me on your own paper. The first number in this problem is a 3, so we will mark the number 3 on our number line. When we used a number line for addition, we used to move to the right on the number line. But now that we are doing subtraction, we are going to move to the left on the number line. So you will find the second number in the problem. Here it is a 2. So you are going to move two dashes to the left on the number line. 1, 2. And we landed at a 1, so the answer to this problem is 1. Now, let's solve a more difficult problem, like 5 minus 3. First, let's try to solve this with apples. To do this, you would start by drawing out your 5 apples, because 5 is the first number in this problem. Then, you look at the second number and remove that many apples. Here, the second number is 3, so we are going to remove 3 apples. Now let's count how many apples we have left. 1, 2. So the answer is 2. Now let's try to solve the same problem using the number line. Because 5 is the first number here, mark 5 on your number line. The second number in the problem is a 3, so we will move to the left by 3 dashes on the number line. 1, 2, 3. We landed at a 2, so our answer is 2. We got the same answer by using the apples and by using the number line. Our next problem is 3 minus 3. Let's first use the apple way and draw out 3 apples because that is our first number in this problem. Now we will look at the second number in the problem and remove that many apples. Here, the second number is a 3, so we have to remove 3 apples. 1, 2, 3. You can see that you have no apples left. That means the answer is 0. A good trick to learn is that when the two numbers in a subtraction problem are the same, the answer is always 0. So, 9 minus 9 equals 0, 7 minus 7 equals 0, and 1 minus 1 also equals 0. You can use a number line to see this as well. Let's try to solve 3 minus 3 using this number line. First, let's mark the first number in the problem on our number line. Here, it is a 3. Then, because the second number is a 3, we will move 
three dashes to the left. One, two, three. You can see that we landed on zero. Now you can try to solve these problems all by yourself. Your problems are 12 minus 5, 5 minus 2, 9 minus 8, 11 minus 1, and 10 minus 3. Here is a number line that will help you solve all of these problems. Draw it out on your paper with me and use it to solve your problems. You can now pause this video, then press play once you have answered all of your problems. Okay, here are the answers. 12 minus 5 is 7. 5 minus 2 is 3. 9 minus 8 is 1. 11 minus 1 is 10. And 10 minus 3 is 7. If you got all of these right, great job. If not, don't worry. This takes a lot of practice. Feel free to rewatch this video and then try these problems again.